looking for a victory. Ken Flex Wheeler, our first heavyweight out of Los Angeles, California. Yes, he's impressive. I mean, how can you not think this? Look at the small waist on this gentleman. Look at the delts, the arms. He's, he's really very, very symmetrical. Does he have a waist? Nice guy, too. He trains at the, at, uh, the Golds in Venice, where I train. He really is a nice guy. Well, you know, not only is he gigantic, but Flex Wheeler has his own little trademark, and he talks about that when we spoke with him earlier today. It, it's became kind of a trademark with me, and um, I really like it. The, it. I feel that the audience really liked the name Flex, and also I try to live off of that, you know, and, and it's just a little extra something. You know, it's really catchy, and I really like the name, and I'll probably change my real name to Flex, you know. Well, we go from one nickname to another, from Flex Wheeler to Quadzilla. Paul DeMeo out of Boston, Massachusetts, the 1991 Junior National Champion. I wonder why they call him Quadzilla. You know, he reminds me from the waist down of Platts. Look at the side of the thigh. Amazing. Huge arms to go with it. He looks great. Well, he also poses well, and uh, whether he wins the heavies or not, he's an award winner because Paul DeMeo gets the Weeder Award as the best poser. From Quadzilla back to Flex. Flex Wheeler is standing backstage with Carla Dunlop. I'm joined by Ken Flex Wheeler. I can guess how you got the name Flex, but why don't you tell me? <laughs> um, it was just a nickname that uh, people used to tease me when I was younger. And as I got older, um, I found that people liked the name, so I just incorporated it into my routine and everything, and it's a, it's a big bang now. <laughs> you not only incorporated it into your routine, but you incorporated it into his head. <laughs> well, Flex, you're going to put some chinks into some plans here for... Uh, there was supposed to be a heavyweight showdown between a few other competitors, but I think you're going to really shock them. Um, I don't know. The, the competitors are outrageous. Um, I was able to dial in the best that I could, best, better than I ever have in my life, but the competitors are just outrageous. I wouldn't dare to say who's going <laughs> to win at this point. Well, we're not going to guess either, but I'll tell you something. We're going to take it back to the competition and find out. We still have Kevin Lavroni, Matt Mendenhall, and more of the heavyweights after this timeout. We continue with the heavyweight division and Matt Mendenhall from Lakewood, Colorado. Wow, look how big and thick Matt, Matt is. Amazing. Matt's been in the game for a long time. Used to live out in L.A. I'm really glad to see him back in the circuit, really. This is a body that, you know, should be out there. Why not in the pros? Well, <clears throat> good question, because he definitely should be out there. I don't know, you know. You know, your personal life has a lot to do with it. You know, I don't know what goes on in his personal life, but, I mean, he should be a, in the pros. Matt Mendenhall, a veteran of the game. And now we move to Kevin Lavrone from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Now, to me, he looks just a tad sharper than he did the last time I saw him. Look at this. He cut his hair. He cut yeah. his hair, too, right? He looks great. Good music. Excellent. What a thick man. Very thick. Look at the pecs. The skin is paper thin. Exactly. He should do really well. Look at the, th the side of the thighs. That line in there. Well, you know, we saw Paul DeMeo, who won the Junior Nationals this past summer, and Kevin LeBron finished second. He talks about what he did to improve upon that finish. Well, I uh, switched a few things in my diet. Uh, stick, I stuck to the diet longer this time, you know, instead of... Uh, I drug it out for a longer period of time so that I could peak at this show, since it was a pro show. I just want to make a statement at the juniors, and I think I did that. And, um, you know, I just wanted to come in this show with the best shape that I possibly could. So I trained on different equipment and uh, did a lot of isolation, you know, for the muscles, high-intensity reps, things like that, you know, Stairmaster riding the bike. Uh, before, I didn't do that for the juniors. So, you know, I kind of saved the little best for last, you know. All right, interesting comments from Kevin. And now our final heavyweight, Ronnie Coleman out of Arlington, Texas. This is a tough class because all of these guys have peaked. They're in great shape. 
Look at a delt in the arms. <laughs> Unbelievable. Working his routine. Triceps. Look at his triceps. He's got them striations in the lower head there. Thighs. <laughs> his big old rock biceps. He looks great. Vascular. It's a tough class. Very tough class. Ronnie Coleman. All right. And now it is time uh, to get set for the heavy weight. The pose down. Matt Mendenhall right. comes in fifth, does the veteran. Bring him all the way down here if you would please. Amazing. Well, he could have been a little harder, but I think Matt's happy with just getting back out there. I really do. I would think Ronnie Coleman will come in fourth. Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman. Uh -oh. yeah, well, because you, well, you can tell who the big three are in this division. Yes. And you're getting much, much better on all of this. You're really starting to know the sport here, Bob. All the way I'm you impressed. lecture me, huh? Let's find out. Paul DeMeo. Paul DeMeo, ah. Quadzilla, the junior national champion, comes in third here in the Nationals. And you see Lee Haney. He's a nice man. Hand. They're both very nice. Here we go. Here we go. This is tough. Lex Wheeler oh. comes in second. Oof. Kevin Lavrone from Glen Burnie, Maryland, Oof. is the heavyweight winner. Wow. Tough call. Kevin looks wow. great. Flex looks great. I mean, you know, why? Hey, we're not finished. We have the overall competition. All five okay. weight classes square off after this timeout. Welcome back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Bob Papa along with Rick Valenti and Carla Dudlop. And we are getting set for the overall pose down. And we will give you the competitors from right to left. Juan Vasquez, Jay Matlock, Vernon Gauthier, Porter Cottrell, and Kevin Lavrone. You know, again, it, it's got to, they all look incredible, right? They're all very balanced. They all won their class. But yet the heavyweight tends to stand out, even though that light heavyweight. Now, look at this. Oof, how close. How much closer could it be? Look at this. I mean, it could go either way here. And I don't you, think, you think anybody it's just can between those two, it. though? Uh, well, no, I mean, you know, the middleweight looks great. But when you just put him next to thicker, thicker men like this, it's... It's is it is this the most fun there? Oh, they yeah. go against each other. Whoa! Oh, yeah. there look was at a Juan Vasquez. Side kick to the midsection there. Very, very close. Very close. See, but now this is exactly how the pro ranks are. There's no weight classes. Everybody stands next to everybody. I mean, there's no, you know, different class. Water control. Yeah, he could win, and I don't think anybody could argue it, but so can Kevin. In the middleweight there, that routine was incredible. Yeah, Bernie, he looked incredible. And there is Kevin Lebron and Porter Cottrell on the left side of your screen. Bernie Gauthier in the middle, he was See, the middleweight. You know, right now the judges are really, really studying their two favorites here and comparing everything, comparing down to the calf, down to the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps, the midsection, how small the waist is. Crowd getting into Look it. Look at this. <sighs> Kevin is thick. Who would you give it to? I, I'm a, <sighs> You're a heavyweight guy. Yeah, I'm going to go with Kevin. But it could go either way. I'm going to find out what the judges thought. The judges have asked for a little bit more time. See, now, that's how close it is. Now, if you're a judge and you give it to, you know, the one of the other guys, and the other kid comes up to you, and he says, you know, why? What do you say? Kids. What do you say to this yeah. young kid where his whole world for the last three months has been this show? And he peaked and he looks incredible. Kevin wow. Lavroni, the winner, the heavyweight, the overall winner. And it always goes to the heavyweights. He comes up with Look the victory. The 1991 great. NPC Men's National Bodybuilding Championships, the overall winner. And we will speak with Kevin backstage with Carla Dunlop. Amazing. Well, we just had a really wild pose now, and I'll tell you something. This man here knocked the socks off. Let's set this one up. Earlier this year at the Junior Nationals, the judges saw fit to vote Paul DeMeo over Kevin Lavrone. Well, Kevin, how did it turn out this time? Well, like I said earlier, Carl, I uh, went back and I trained hard and I dieted a little longer this time. 
And uh, I, I'm more or less prepared for this sort of award a peak out at this contest. And uh, I think at this show, I was definitely at my best. If it had been two or three more weeks from now, maybe I would have been a little off, but I was definitely on peak today. Does this mean you're going to represent the United States at the World Championships? No, um, I'm not really right now. You know, it's kind of like in the back of my mind. You know, I haven't really decided. Um, I have to think about, you know, what I'm going to do and uh, maybe, you know, with my training and all, and then I'll make a decision after that. All right, Rick and I will be back to wrap up the night's competition after this timeout. Bob Papa along with Rick Valente. Rick, it was a wild competition mm -hmm. from top to bottom, from the lower weight class right through the heavyweights. It was very competitive. Yes, it was. All these athletes came in in incredible condition, especially, you know, I hate to say it, but we always do this. The heavyweight class, class was incredible. Well, Kevin Lavroni, who won the heavyweight and won the overall, uh, shows that there are a lot of good young bodybuilders out there. And, of course, Matt Mendenhall came back, came out of retirement. He looked good. Could have been a little darker, but he still looked very good. Took fifth place. Did you have fun? I had a great time. All right. I'm, I'm like, worn out. He wore me out. All right. Well, he's worn out. He's going to get some rest for Rick Valente and Carla Dunlop. I'm Bob Papa. You've been watching the 1991 NPC Men's National Amateur Bodybuilding Championships. <laughs>